Hello, thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Dale, this channel is Flippin' Fiasco. I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, Macari, Facebook Marketplace. Today's video is going to be a thread up five pound DIY jewelry unboxing. These boxes are so hard to get and I managed to get two of them on the same day. So this first box that we're gonna look at today is from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. And wait until you see, it was so good. So stay tuned. All right, you guys know how impatient I am. So I got my first of two thread up DIY jewelry boxes. This one is just over five pounds and it hails from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. So I won't be able to do an unboxing for a few days, but I am dying to take a peek inside, which I know I can't do unless I share it with you. So that is what we're looking at right now. My other box, I believe, is coming from Swanee, Georgia. So it will be a battle of the boxes. Let's see, and these boxes are now running $44 um, plus shipping. I believe they come out to um, $49.99. So here we are, all sealed up. Try not to jostle the camera. So fancy. Okay, here's our first peek. It's all bagged up. And what do we have? Oh, I see Coach. That's encouraging. Oh my gosh, I haven't been able to get one of these in so long. I am so super excited. Now there's Sheen. That's not quite as exciting. Um, what do we see on the back of this watch? is hard to read so I don't know Ooh, that's pretty that's a junk gypsy huh. here we go we're gonna dig into our thread up lot and I did not touch it I was very good I this is my first time opening it um, so we have a coach bag Oh, okay, and we have an assortment of earrings. <laughs> there is a gold square. This does say coach on it. And a C, the coach C. Um, so all single earrings. <laughs> there is nothing else inside there. That's curious. Okay. Hey, so we want some single coach earrings. Next, we have a big old gold cuff that has seen better days. It's just really scratched up and it is J. Crew. Um, I mean, I'll try polishing and see how it goes, but I don't have high hopes. It is really nice and heavy and thick. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, here is a toggle clasp bracelet that I believe is just dyed howlite, but is in nice condition. Well, it's a little scratched up. It just needs a little bath. Here we have a wooden stretch bracelet. Um... I do not see any designer indication, um, but it makes quite a statement on your wrist. It's pretty light. Here we have a pair of earrings that are Film Squad. HLM squad and they are just really pretty they have like a green faceted stone in the bottom so that is an interesting set of earrings of earrings is a set of earrings yes here is another toggle clasp 
bracelet with green stones. I believe this is just um, handmade. So cute. Oh, and I haven't been giving prices, but um, if you do see anything that you're interested in purchasing, please send me an email at dale at flippinfiasco.com and we can work out pricing. Generally, um, I mean, I would say about $4 an item plus shipping, but I'll keep you posted. This is gorgeous. This would be a great prom piece, though I think we're just about done with prom season. Um, a nice long extender so you can decide how big you want it. So like something like this, I would probably do more like $10 really nice and I don't think it's missing any of the stones but I don't see any kind of maker but again I think that is just gorgeous ten dollars this is interesting like to me I guess they're maybe dyed shells now that I'm looking at it closer at first I thought it was like popcorn kernels or something they're very strange so super long um, then has these big nuts and just a ribbon clasp. It is really in gross condition though. That's going to the craft box, which I have right here. Well, oh look, there's a matching earring. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. A matching earring to this gorgeous. So we'll see if we have both earrings and then set a price. Oh look, a little Mickey earring. We'll see if we have his match. Um, here's just a little champagne colored bracelet with toggle closure. This one is stretch. My dog is crying. She wants attention. Has a little charm that says I am blessed and some pave um, beads. And then these are clear faceted. Well, not clear. They're like opaque. That one's more opaque than the rest. But cute little bracelet. Let's start just putting earrings aside. This bracelet is pretty. These are, I would say, like an art glass. Um, this stretch is scary though. I feel like it's going to break. So it needs to be re-strung but has nice components. Ooh, here we have a pretty bracelet with, um, they're kind of like a smoky stone and I don't see any kind of maker. You can see that it's um, double strong. That's nice. Here we have a fabric rhinestone bracelet. Um, I don't see an indicator of who made it. Um, I'm usually not a big fan of fabric things, but this one is um, pretty clean. And I think all of the stones are there and adjustable. It's nice. It's like a, a, like a gray, brownish gray color. Here, this is an Alex and Ani bracelet with an H shield. Let's say on the back. Just Alex and Ani 2017. So anybody with an H name, I have a bracelet for you. Lots of earrings to set aside. We'll have a fun hunt for matches. Here we have, oh, I do have to pull these out so we can take a closer look. Hmm, interesting. They have like a little clear bell on the end. <laughs> She's being ridiculous. Um, I don't see any precious metal mark. Um, yeah, they're cute. Bring out some of these bigger pieces. Here we have a oh, this is a Monet bangle bracelet. You can 
can see the um, detail on it, little diagonal stripes. And it is like textured the whole way. Pretty. That one would probably be eight because it is Monet. They that sells better. Ooh, there is flying. Here we have another H thing. Oh, this is Hermes, really? I think we'll need to check the authenticity of this. Um, well, and it, it's missing the white on this side. So I don't know if somebody would still be interested though, if it's true Hermes. Um, how does it, how does this clasp work? It's me. Huh. Oh my goodness, so many earrings. I got some tangles here we have to work through. Okay, I'm gonna get this out of the way. It is a big statement piece with some missing components and a lot of wear. So it's going right into craft. Oh, is this one of the missing pieces? No, it's a matching earring. Grr. This is stuck. Come on. I think I need to undo the clasp. Hang on. Do I? I mean, how is it stuck? Oh, it just went through. Here, hang on, hang on. We almost got it. Ooh, I don't want to break it. I'm going to break it. Oh, boy. There we go. Okay. So this is a matching earring to that <clears throat> necklace. I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know. It was in terrible condition. <laughs> Woo! Look at the blingy on this brooch. That is super pretty. I don't see any maker, but a nice flower rhinestone brooch. Here is some pyramids on a stretch bracelet. Um, I don't see any maker on this side and I don't see a maker. Some of the points are like starting to go bronzy, but a little pyramid stretch bracelet. Here we have some Ann Taylor earrings on a card. Genuine semi-precious stones. Okay, so five dollars. This paparazzi piece is all tangled. Let's see if we can get her out. We did. So she still has both of her um, earrings and the bracelet. As you know, these go for five dollars, so I would do two. Here we have a broken snake uh, brace or necklace, but yeah, the clasp is broken. I'm not exactly sure how we would fix that, so I'll just put that into craft. And any craft pieces, if somebody's interested, are a dollar if you want me to pull them out and send them to you. Here we have a whole bunch of Christmas earrings from Kohl's. Retailed for $16. That would be the that four price that I talked about earlier. So it does have some red poinsettias, Christmas trees, and just balls. Ooh, tough love. 
on a blue leather thing. Let's see. This says, I think it's BCBG generation, right? BC, BCB generation, yeah. So tough love. A little scratched up. So we'll keep our $4 price on that. Lots of earrings piling up. I have them out of sight for you. Oh, look at these earrings that they put in the land wrap for me. Thank you for protecting them. They look really pretty. So yeah, they have a big AB stone in the middle. Lots of rhinestones, an AB stone at the bottom. Aren't they pretty? Ooh. I think these I would do eight on for you. I would probably list them for about 18 on eBay. Very pretty. I'm going to kind of wrap them back up to keep them protected. What does this get to? Uh-oh. Tangles, tangles. Lots of tangles. Okay, here we have a friendship bracelet going to craft. Ooh, what's, what signature am I seeing here? Take a look at that pendant. And this is Jewel Mint, which I'm not familiar with. But that's pretty cool. And it's on a bronzy long chain. Let's see if we can free her up. Ooh, I think it has this clasp which is getting all tangled Ooh, hang on we're almost there isn't it satisfying when a tangled piece gets free oh, look at this ready here we go Ta -da! so yeah on a, a long bronzy chain and it's got this Nice, fancy clasp in the back, like so. So I will do six on that one, very nice. Oh, let's see what we can get free. Oh, I wonder what this goes to. It's in nice condition, but it seems like it broke off of maybe an earring. I don't, that would be a heavy earring. We'll put that aside for now. Oh, I hope we have a match to that blue necklace and single earring. Oh, this is a bracelet. Silver balls, two rows. Yeah, that, that one's like turned bronzy. Or was that just, no. I th at first I thought it was a reflection, but it's not. Um, it does have the adjustable cord, but I think I'm gonna put that in craft. I don't feel right selling that. Oh, come on, jewelry, come free. Here we have a little silver bracelet. It's inside out right now, but has turquoise cap, uh, colored cabochons. Let's just see if it is. It's not magnetic, so I wonder if it's sterling. I'm going to start putting aside things that I want to test later. Is an earring on here. I didn't realize that these thread up boxes had so many straight earrings. All right, so here we have another adjustable bracelet. So I guess it could be an anklet or bracelet. And it's silver balls with a little charm that indicates it's from Loft. However, that piece is turning. So I'm just going to put this in craft also. Ooh, that's gross. I'm putting it in craft. Ugh. Um, is this just couldn't tell if this was earrings. It is a little pine cone on this chain, which is all tangled, but I think I'm just going to put it in craft anyway. 
lots of earrings. Oh, look at this. Juicy Couture. It's like a little uh, gingerbread man. Uh, Keychain or just hang, hang tag. Cute. Earrings, earrings, earrings everywhere. I have to come up with an earring song for you. All right, let's see if we can get this mess untangled. So it's, I think it's just messed upon itself. Okay, that sounded really weird. Okay, this tangled mess we're gonna have to detangle off camera. Okay, this I'm all going to detangle. Let me just figure out a place to put it. All right, we have this bracelet, which is just bronzy flowers stretch. And I don't think there's a maker on it. So that is our $4 price. Oh, here's the other piece. Oh, oh. Hang on, wait. Uh, oh, so it is an earring. And it was on this <clears throat> junk gypsy tag, gypsyville.com. They had it priced at $36. So I wonder if there is um, the other hook somewhere in here. Fingers crossed. Here we have a nice chunky silver necklace with these rings that have that um, snaky type material or chain in the middle on a big chain coming up to a lobster closure. I don't see any kind of maker, but let me see if I can lay it out for you. Here's what that looks like. We have a silver and gold stretch bracelet. It's in nice condition, so that's the four dollars. You see these earrings just falling out. Okay, let me get this through the cross out. So we have this bracelet with cross charms. Are they all different or are they all the same? I think they're all the same. So that's what they all look like. So that also $4. It's in nice condition. Here is a toggle clasp bracelet with pearls. Um, I think, yeah, they're faux pearl. Earrings, earrings everywhere. Earrings, earrings everywhere. So many choices for you. Which song do you like the best? All right. Earring. Okay, here is a. <laughs> is it two bracelets? I think it's two bracelets. Yes. All right, so we have a silver tone bracelet with a little bear. Yeah, it's three little bears. Oh, they're upside down. There's what they look like. Um, do we want to see if it's magnetic? It is. So I'm, I'm actually putting that in craft. It doesn't appear to be in good condition. Here we have a dolphin charm bracelet with this nice lobster closure. I feel like that's like a Monet almost. Let's see if it works well. Oops, sorry. It does work well. So very small though. Let me see if I measure it across. 
Um, I guess it is six inches. So four dollars. Let's see. Here we have a necklace with this nice print on it and a lobster closure. Seems to be in pretty decent condition. Don't see any maker's mark and I doubt it's, yeah, I figured it would be magnetic. So that one will do four. I like that. What in the world is this key? <laughs> Dumped out some earrings. Earrings, earrings, earrings for you. Earrings for me. Okay. Here we have. Oh, what does this say? Is it Stella and Dot? Yes. So a little Stella and Dot stretch bracelet whose stretch has seen better days. We're gonna we're just gonna put that in craft. If anybody is interested in restringing it though, it is yours for one dollar. Here's a bag pair of earrings, so we'll take a look at them. Nice green cabochon. They are not in great condition though. You see how they're turning bronze? So I'm putting them in craft. What is this? This is the sheen item that I saw in the bottom of the bag. <laughs> I don't know if it's supposed to be. I mean, it can't be an actual belt. Look how tiny it is. So it is just a choker necklace. Massive, impressive. Four dollars. <laughs> wow. All right, here we have a watch that is all scratched up. It's DKNY. I'm just going to throw it in craft because that face, the watch face, is so scratched up. You can see that in the reflection. Ew. What are you, cutie? You're tangling stuff up. That's what you are. So this is just a fabric glittery gold bow on an adjustable ring. I do two on that. <laughs> um, here we have lots of tangled. Oh, did you hear the thunder? Interesting. I'm just going to check to see if any of it is not magnet. Oh. What do you know? This one maybe will test. Um, what about this one? All right, we'll just throw all this back in our testing area. Wow, this is a huge watch. It says Swiss Legend. Swiss Legend. Genuine leather band. And that I would do eight on, um, plus five if you want me to replace the battery. It's nice. Here is just a replacement watch band. I don't know how you would know if it fits. I mean, I can do a, we'll just see. It is, a little more than one and a quarter inches. I'm just putting it in craft. Earring. Another one. Looks like the same size in white. And let's see. Our last necklace is on a <laughs> A leather cord and then it's got these interesting tubes this one I think is broken so craft all right so now I'm going to untangle and try to see 
if we have earring matches. So we'll be back. Okay, forever later, we've untangled and we have this um, glass pendant on a rose gold chain that was the source of many tangles. It's a nice long chain and I'm actually, I, I know it's rose gold, but these are the things I'm going to test. So I have this interesting plain gold on this chain with adjustable lengths and see this this is not magnetic this is not magnetic this is marked um what it says nine yeah it says nine two five up here and then has some oops it says it on the bail too and has some kind of marking is it is that just an m i'm not sure but on this cross and then the necklace is unfortunately broken here but it does also say 925 here Would you like to focus today? Is it on that side or is it on the other side? Huh, it's on the other side. So yeah, 925 and CW. So I guess that's what the back of this might say also. Um, but so we're, we'll test that just to be sure. I tried to put a jump ring on it and mine was too thick. So it wouldn't even go on. With this really pretty pendant with a dangle. Not even sure how to describe that. Is it like mother of pearl maybe? There's what the back looks like. And it's on a nice thick gold chain with lobster closure. We have this monstrosity of um, white beads, green beads, pearly beads, and chains, gold chains. So a little bit longer than choker length. That will fall into the $4 category. This one I wanna look up before I say it's four. This will probably just go and craft a bracelet. This is just a plain silver chain that um, is magnetic, so I won't be testing that. Here we have a broke well I don't know it's so tangled I can't untangle it gold chain that I'll test as well we have this fashion silver necklace with silver rings and then two strands lobster closure um here you said about that we have this pretty with all of this dangling action um some of them are, or is that just a hair? I thought that maybe it was scratched up, but I love the bluish color and some clear faceted. So that's an interesting statement piece. Then we have, we have this necklace with gold and silver tone, and then gold danglies with sil silver balls on the end, and the gold chain. And it has two lobster um, fasteners. Here's what the back looks like. There is no markings on it. Then we have this, which I think maybe we looked at earlier. is interesting with the gold and then a silver dangly on this chain, which I'm going to test. So, and then we have these monstrous earrings <laughs> like chandelier brassy in the middle um there and there is a pair it looks like i do have a lot of matched earrings those are just i didn't want them tangling anything anymore so i pulled them out but before we go to i'm going to lay out all the earring matches oh i forgot <laughs> this bracelet which i have on but it is missing 
some stones. So I would do three on that if anyone's interested. It is still really nice. And yeah, so let's let's test. Oh, did I forget one piece? Did I show you this one? I, think I feel like I've had this one before, too. It is a New York and Company, and it's like asymmetrical. So it's got these long strands <clears throat> with pearls and and silver beads, and then has the flower on one side with a pearl in the middle, and then this is what the other side of the chain looks like. So it's very very long. And um, I would do six on this one. Okay, so now let's get out our acids and do some testing. Um, so yeah, let's let's do some testing. So we have our silver cross and chain. Let me. Okay, so we'll do that first, and then we had this piece. I'll do all my silver first. That looks promising. We had this that was all tangled, right? What does this say on the back, though? Can you come into focus? Oh, yeah. Right. It's Tiffany and Company. Of course it is. Do you think it's real? <laughs> okay, because that would be worth detangling. Let's just see. Maybe. And, oops, let me have this one, which feels different. I'm so confused. Okay, so we'll take our 18K solution, sorry, and swipe it across all of our scratches. Did I seriously not show you as I was scratching? I'm sorry, I'm not redoing it. Okay, let's see how the acid turns. So it does look like our cross. Here, wait, let me just zoom in. Our cross on the left side is definitely silver. And the chain, I didn't really get a good scratch, so I hate to say if it is or isn't. It looks like this bracelet is trying to turn right here. And then this is the Tiffany, which is silver. And I think the other one is trying to show us silver as well. All right, so interesting. I will try detangling these items then and we'll try to determine if this is real or not wouldn't that be an amazing win and now we'll test our gold chain which is actually now untangled magically all right let me just clasp this all right and let's get a good rub that's pretty good okay, so that's this one we have this so I will scratch the piece up here huh. and the chain will do below it And then this rose gold, again, I, don't, I was just confused because it wasn't magnetic. Okay, so we'll start with 10 and we'll see how it goes. I'm going to try not to use the whole scratch if we want to move up. I feel like these are all staying strong. Let me see how it looks for the camera. Right? They're not going anywhere. So let's try 14. 
Am I in frame? Yes. All right, that went away. That went away. That went away. That went away. All right. So they all might at least be candidates for the scrap. Oops, sorry. For them to decide if there's any value there. So you can see now my 14K on the left ran into the 10, so it's starting to go away. But yeah, they all stuck with the 10 and went away with 14. Okay. Um, oh yes, then I, I do have this piece too. Let's try that one before we put this away. So these are all I'm just gonna put in. If anybody's interested, they can purchase this one for eight. And okay, these, these, let's test this one. And here again, we have kind of three pieces. So I'm going to I'll put the silver over to a side. That's very bronzy. Um, we'll do this pendant over here and let's scratch some of the chain over here. All right, so I'm going to just show right away that this is not silver. It disappears immediately, but let's see how our 10 looks on the pendant and chain. It doesn't look like it's going anywhere. If anything, I mean, this might just be plated because look at the, like the wear. Let's see what the 14 does. It disappears right away. So, I'll just, I think I'll put that one in scrap as well. It's really pretty beat up. And now we'll go through the process of trying to match all of these earrings in this bag. Okay, you guys, I have cleaned this up and I have checked it against others online. I think this might be legitimate Tiffany. I'm like kind of freaking out. Here is this tag. Let's zoom in. Which looks pretty good. There is, um, it does say 925 on the other side. Oh, where'd it go? Sorry. And there is also a 925 mark on the, yeah, there it is. And yeah, I, I think this might be real. And it looks like it goes for about $150. So, well, right. And then I finally got this one untangled too. So it is a... Um, triple strand or actually four strands and it is marked and it did test as silver right there and then there's just this fashion piece but it is a cute cute little necklace but holy cow kind of freaking out I am pleasantly happy that there are a lot of matches of earrings in this thread up lot. So starting at the top, we have these pretties. I think these are just gorgeous. And these I will be testing for silver. This is marked, um, let me see forget what it says but that might be gold um, along and this one also these are singles but I think might be silver these are marked silver 
these I want to test. Then we have some really pretty. These are, this is a pair of like little leaf earrings. These are really nice. These are super nice. These tassels. These, I can tell you, were the source of many tangles in with necklaces. <laughs> I got these, which are, are not in, in great condition, so those will go to craft. Um, these are pretty. I love these pearls. Nice. I mean, they're just some stunning pieces, but these might be my favorite. They are, I believe it's pronounced Jibanshi, and they last sold for $20 on eBay. Got that pair, a cute pair of owl earrings, little studs. The, this pair I think is missing a, one stone and these are missing a stone. These I think are like the Black Lives Matter fist, perhaps. There we did find the Mickey match. There's some silver, pretty pink stones. Then I did find a few more um, juicy little dangles. So you can see these ballet shoes say juicy. And then the um, cherries say juicy as well. Um, and then I have a whole bunch of singles, including this really cute Mets um, guy that I don't believe this, the that's a match, but the one is broken. Um, so yeah, some tie tack that I broke, that one broke tiny little ring and these things I don't think are precious metal but we are going to do a little bit more testing before we end this video. Okay so first we're going to try these straight earrings that weren't magnetic that seem to have some potential. So first we'll do this tiny little stud. Oh maybe. And we'll do this guy, maybe. And then this one would be probably real turquoise if it is silver. Oh, they're all encouraging. They're all silvery. So let's do our 18K solution. And we'll go across. Oh, guys, I'm getting better at this. So yes, that middle one definitely, but I think the stud as well, let's just get a little more going over here. Okay, so that end one I do not think is silver, but the other two definitely, especially that middle one. Sweet. All right, let's go to the next round. Okay, moving on, we're going to do these earrings, which were not attracted to the magnet, but I don't see marks. These earrings, which are marked. Uh, these, I do not believe have a mark, but again, we're not um, attracted to the metal. This pair of earrings has a mark on Oops, on the post, or not on the post, the backing. So, and I believe it's the same on both backings. So we're going to give them a shot. And then I have these, which were not attracted to the magnet, but don't have a mark. So what do you think? We've got how many pairs? Five pairs. Am I going to go five for five? I'm going to guess three out of five, so one, two, so far so good, three, that does not look, that looks too bronzy, this, hmm, what am I going to do, try to get one of these guys, hmm. Or, no, you know what, I'll do this. 
So I did the post, which I think is also marked. Yeah. Gotta really look close, huh? And so now that post looks good. Oh, that looks good too. But I'm not I'm not sure about these now. And this one was marked. So we shall see. Oh my goodness, look at that. Four out of five isn't bad. Nice, that's so exciting. Here is our next set of testers. We have this little fan pendant, which I think, I think it says 10K. Am I wrong? Or is that, maybe that's just some kind of maker's mark. I don't know. So we'll test that. These earrings don't have any marks, but weren't magnetic. Same for these, same for these. This one is marked on the post and is also marked inside. And it says, like, wait, Kira... CZ925. So that I actually need to do the 18K. And then we have this one. So I'm going to start with all of these at the 10K and then we'll save this one to do 18K. All right. And I do have my 10K here. So we'll do the fan and these pretty rhinestone earrings. And these little circles. Oops. We've got these dainty little things. This guy. Oops. And then, as I said, this one was the 925. So we'll do 18K. Maybe we need to do 18K on this one too. Because of how silvery it is. All right, so we'll do... Oh, that's the 18K. <laughs> this is the 10K. We're going to do across this. Oop, I want to do it up higher. Here. 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 And I'll do this one even though, like I said, I'm thinking that might be sterling silver. And I think that all of these are sticking. So let's move up to 14K on them. Oh, I guess I'm gonna have to be careful because I went smack in the middle. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, but it disappears right away. Gone, gone, gone. That one I'm probably going to need to scratch again to do the 18K. So yes, all of them. Well, actually, this first, that pendant. Oh, no, it was the top one. That's right. Gone. Yeah. So all of them disappeared. Now let's do our 18K. On here I think it's trying to stick and let me try scratching this one a bit more over here and we'll do the 18k on it okay I think they both are silver the Vermeil. So there you have it. Um, I'm very pleased with this lot from Thread Up. Tell me what you think, and if you're interested in purchasing everything, email me at dale at flippinfiasco.com. Thanks for being here. I'll catch you next time.